Well, you can get me to put a mask on my mouth, but you can't get me to shut up. <laughs> so, my new mask came today. Just for when I go to shops, you know, really, if I'm going to a shop, I want to wear it. It just makes me feel better that um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to spread any, any germs. I feel like I've got the lurgy going through me. I do. So um, it'd be nice to have some tests available for that. You know, being that they've known about this whole COVID strain or Corona strain that COVID's a part of. Um, considering they've been following these strains developing for so many years, since, what was it? I think since 2012 or something. I feel disappointed with the, uh, with the pre-organisation. It's really pissed me off to be honest with you um so anyway the only reason i'm making this video is i went down to the shop got the mask i need to top up some milk um so i went down to the um petrol station it's a uh, bp marks and spencers just down the bottom of the road um i'm glad to have a proper mask i've had like a something to cover my mouth and that just to sort of stop the the um particles from you know moving there anyway anyway i got there i was just walking across the forecourt the cop car three deep no ppe they'll get out of the car side by side no no nothing you know i'll get there in a tricky situation anyway i'll get to that so they went in i was like fucking it again so i went i watched them walk past the one person that was stood in the queue not even two metres from the security guard. <laughs> Who wasn't wearing any PPE either. Um, and, uh, and so the cops just bowled straight through. You know, I like it. <laughs> I like to be considerate towards all people. Whatever job you do. So um, I don't hate on individuals despise the system that they serve I don't agree with a lot of the rules that are made and how they're made let's not forget about the uh, maritime law situation uh, and so anyway cops went in and I just thought I've just got to fucking say something so I went in got my milk came out waiting for him to come out <laughs> And, uh, and spoke to one of them and just said to him, you know, with my mask on, two metres away from him, how come you're not wearing PPE, mate? Um, and long and short of it is, I was, I was a little confused on how he said this, because he sounded like he said the um, WHO, World Health Organisation, was privately owned. Um, yeah, privately owned, World Health Organisation. It's in the same line of families that own the uh, central banking system that changed us into a debt-based economy. Debt-based economy. Perpetual debt, you can't get out of it. We live with an economic system that is per perpetually creating debt. So, anyway, that wasn't my point. <laughs> So, anyway, having a chat with this copper. He's a nice enough guy. He seems nice enough, just likes to follow the rules. He's got to, he's a copper. If you're going to be a police officer, you're going to be one of them people that's going to blindly follow rules. I get that. So, I wasn't expecting a great deal from that side of it. I just wanted the answer, right? So, um, and he said, basically, and it's a bit confusing on how this worked out, but I'll just say what I've got. Um, he said, basically, WHO has said that um, PPE is needed. But then, in like the next breath, he says, but then there was a risk assessment done. And it was decided that we didn't need to. Now, I can't figure out whether it was the privately owned World Health Organisation that did the risk assessment and said, all right, whatever. 
or whether it was the police force that did their own risk assessment and decided whatever. Now, I get that the uh, Metropolitan Police Force, which is an independent police force in the UK because the because London is an independent state of Europe, right? They've got their own laws for banking and everything. That's why it's the banking capital, because they can get away with so much fuckery over there. But anyway, let's not get into all that. Um, so anyway, it was basically, someone had then decided that on a risk assessment, three deep in a car from different houses, that have got to work together every day. He kept saying, we've got to work together every day, mate. We're always in close quarters. What do you... And I was like, yeah, but mate, it's not... Like to me, in with serious matters it seems like the rules aren't always moral the rules aren't always right and sometimes they're just fucking stupid guidelines i'm like i said and over and above that i said i thought this i thought the police force would be wanting to show example lead by example like do you know what i mean just because you're told, and he kept referring back to the rules, and I, you know, and then he said something, I couldn't help myself, I said, well, what do you expect in a society that's raised in hierarchy, glorification of the royals and the corporate power? And he just sort of was like, <laughs> he's like, oh, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit, a bit above me there. And I was just like, oh, dude, sorry. Um, and then I walked off with him just kind of, away from the door, just saying goodbye and, you know, good luck. Because they do a hard job. I do not like what they do. So, there's a lot of people that don't like what they do, but they take it out on the individual people, as opposed to looking at what created that situation and then going, well, hang on a minute, they're not to blame. It's how this system was created and what it serves and what it does. And it's not necessarily blame, it's more awareness. Because what's blame going to get us? Fuck all. <laughs> Blame's no good. I don't, I don't have a lot of time for blame. I just think things are what they are. Own what you've done. And be aware. Right? So, um, uh, I just lost myself a bit there. So, yeah. There you go. It's not scripted. It's just been me being me, speaking out, going food for thought. You know? Food for thought. Um, let's feed ourselves some thoughts that will challenge ourselves a bit, you know? Let's get ourselves out of that mindset that will blindly follow rules that are not really serving us that well. Peace.